Community day has just ended guys and today we will be using Neuven, the second stage evolution of Neubet in the Go Battle League in the Ultra League. Alright, so hi hi to all of you guys. So yes, this is the Neubet that I caught during the community day and I was really really lucky enough to get this because it is a rank 1 for the Ultra League. But being rank 1, is it good? Well, we'll find out together but let's go ahead to evolve into Neuven first and you guys know what we need to use 400 candies to evolve it there are not a lot of Pokemon that requires 400 candies to evolve the first being Magikarp second being Wilmer third being Melmetal you know evolve Melton into Melmetal those require 400 candies so uh, Neuven is also one of them so uh, that cost a lot let's go ahead to power it up to under 2500 CP making sure we don't go over it Alright, we are almost there. Okay, this stop. 2496. Okay, good. Under 2500. Okay, good. Let's go power up. We're gonna give it a second move. Alright, and the second move that we're gonna get, okay, it has Bite and Draco Meteor. We're gonna give it a second move first before we start uh, changing the move. We have Psychic, and uh, we wanna get, I think, Hurricane. Oh no, I do not have enough uh, TMs. <gasps> I forgot about uh, my charge team, but let's just go ahead to remove that. Let's just use this move. I'm so sorry, but we were supposed to use the other um, move. Yeah, I ran out of charge TMs, guys. Because I went to TM away the frustrations. Now I'm really frustrated. <laughs> yeah, I TM away the frustrations last night. And I forgot to um, get at least one from the Go Battle League or something like that. Okay, so I'd um, like to show you guys one more thing though. Let's go into um, uh, PV Poke. You guys can see Neuven in the Ultra League is ranked 521 with Hurricane and Psychic. So um, let's see how things go with this particular Pokemon. I mean, having Draco Meteor, you can also use it as a nuke. Alright, to one-shot KO a certain Pokemon, especially Dragon-typing Pokemon. So let's go into um, the Ultra League right now. Okay, Ultra League. I'm going to change my Talon Flame to use Neuvern instead. Yep, I mean, it is a Psychic and Dragon-typing. Is it Flying flying and Dragon? Dragon Flying and Psychic Flying. I see. Yeah, but Flying and Dragon, so it's the same typing as Altaria, guys. But, you know, Altaria having access to Dragon Breath is probably going to be better than using this. And you need to get a Hundo maxed out. Level 50... Altaria to you know have it maximized for the Ultra League also so that costs a lot of candies and also you need a hundo Whereas for this you don't need a hundo but you need to get the proper IVs which is you know whatever that is required for the Ultra League Alright we got Scrafty in the house against our Swamp Parrot Alright so our Trevenant ain't gonna fare too well against it we're just gonna stay put Okay okay looking alright and uh, we're gonna fire off our very first hydro cannon now let's go Okay great CMP tied over there though because he did not uh, sneak in another counter Alright great yep we got that and then uh, it's not gonna shoot that alright and uh, it could be a power up punch bait I'm Gonna let this go through first Let's see what happens okay it is foul play ouch Alright so now we're gonna see if we can actually burn his shield or perhaps just a one-shot KO the Scrafty with our Earthquake. And uh, again, CMP tie once more. Okay, I think it should be another foul play. I'm gonna let this... Uh, I mean, if it's, it's gonna shield that, sure. Uh, not even can handle it, right? I mean, we have Air Slash, which will do super effective damage to the Scrafty. Now, let's see how Noiven performs. Okay, great, it is Power Up Punch. Uh, not great also because uh, it's gonna use foul play on my next Pokemon and that's against my Noiven. Alright, I always mistake it as a psychic typing, but you know, it is a flying and dragon. Alright, alright, great. Now I'm thinking if I should shoot this though, I can see that it's suffering a lot of damage. Despite the fact that I'm resisting the counters and the foul play is going to like almost knock us out already. Alright, bringing in a Needle Queen. Going to go with a psychic now. Let's see if our opponent is going to shoot this or not. Okay, great. So, if this goes through, <clears throat> I need to prepare it. I know I'm not using Boom Burst, but we're going to Boom Burst ourselves. Boom! Okay, switching into Trevenant, please. Okay, great. I'm not gonna shoot this. It's gonna be Poison Fang. Yeah. So I'm not using Boom Burst because you guys can see it's not even recommended by PV Poke at all. So hence, you know, um, not ideal to actually use that. Okay, okay. Just farm down the Needle Queen. Poison Fang is gonna come in. It's totally fine. 
So hence the community day move boom burst is not too useful and you know not even being a flying and dragon typing not even a normal typing Pokemon it doesn't even get same type attack bonus so even if you use it for like raids purpose or whatsoever it's not that useful it's really not that useful at all and I can see that it's rather glassy even against a Scrafty that has just a single boosted by its power up punch the counters do add up though alright let's see what's the last Pokemon it is a Runerigus alright Runerigus I'm gonna go with the Seed Bomb let's see if we can burn a shield alright both Seed Bomb and also Shadow Ball will do super effective damage. Oh, well, I should have gone with the Shadow Ball, I suppose so. Okay, now mine's okay. We got another Seed Bomb over here. Now, the question is, can we survive well enough to get to a Psychic, though? I'm not 100% sure, but he has a lot of energy now. Alright, uh, he can actually use uh, Sand Tomb to burn my shield. And then after that... Wow, it's a 50-50, guys. You know what? I'm calling it, uh, oh my god, I called wrongly. I was gonna say it is Shadow Ball. Now we're gonna lose this. So that was a 50-50% chance to uh, win. I mean, he could have actually just fire off Shadow Ball and one-shot KO me, or use Sentum to bait me, which was what he did, and he won this. So it doesn't mean that, you know, you get to this point and you know you're guaranteed to win or whatsoever, but we were really close, if I guess that right, and it would have been a guess because his Shadow Ball was ready but if I counted properly and I know that his Shadow Ball is not ready, I don't have to shield that. So, <clears throat> let's go ahead into the next uh, battle guys. And also, I'm almost at 2400 uh, ELO. I did reach 2400 ELO, then after they dropped a bit, I didn't have much time to play as because uh, I've been busy with Chinese New Year. And also, I've been busy um, going after Rocket Leaders. Since it is the current event and uh, I mean now it's over already, today just ended. So um, I'm going to start playing GBL a bit harder. Alright, so hence uh, I couldn't uh, progress in terms of ELO as much. Okay, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Okay, we're going to try and catch Great. We caught the charge move. Great. A great quetch. Hashtag Daniel. <laughs> Alright, great, great. Let's go there. Okay, okay. She's going to stay pushed. She's going to try and catch my... Uh, Seed Bomb, is she? Okay, she is going to try and catch the Seed Bomb, changing into Charizard though. Alright, knew that. So Charizard, I mean, it can be handled by my Swampert, not too difficult. Uh, uh, Noivern can technically handle the uh, Swampert. I'm trying to think about what are my options because I'm not too familiar with um, you know this particular team, obviously. Okay, I'm going to shield it since my Shadow Ball is just one Shadow Claw to be ready. I hope the next Dragon Claw isn't ready, otherwise I might have to burn a second shield. Alright, great. Let's go with the Shadow Ball now. Let's see if she's going to shoot this or not. If she shoot this, great. If she does not shoot this, well, um, we'll have to think of plan B. Okay, okay. She shooted that. Now, that's uh, great, I guess. Okay, we're going to bring in Swampert. We have our charge move ready, but we're going to lose CMP time. Thinking if I want to shoot this or not. Uh, I need my Swampert. Right, okay. It's going to be Blast Burn. It's going to do a lot of damage to us. I mean, it's not a Shadow um, Charizard. Alright, this is going to kill already. Alright, great. Let's go. So, let's see what she going to bring in. If she's going to bring in a Swampert, I'm going to try and catch the charge move again on the Noivern. Alright, Noivern will resist the... Crap, wow, she immediately went for it. I thought she's going to charge up a bit more, but it looks like not. Okay, not to worry. Not to worry. Okay, going with Hydro Cannon. And then uh, right now... Oh, what? So fast. So fast. Really? Did I count wrongly? I'm confused. Okay, sure. Sorry. I, I was just focusing on uh, talking and not counting properly. Okay, now we resist all the moves other than Sludge Wave. Alright, Sludge Wave will do neutral damage to us, but we resist Hydro Cannon, we resist Earthquake. So we're gonna farm down the Swampert totally. Hopefully we can. And the last Pokemon is a Pokemon that we do not want to see, and that's Registeel. We can basically top left already. Alright, but just for fun and games, we're gonna Draco Meteor. The uh, Registry one time, although this is never gonna KO the Registry because it's just so tanky, alright? Boom. Yay, we did it. Oh, my camera is fogging up, guys. I'm so sorry about it, but um, let me um, figure it out. Or we'll just leave it as is. Uh, I mean, usually you just you guys don't have to see uh, me, I guess. You guys just need to see um, the screen, right? Yeah, there's something wrong with my lens, definitely. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead into the next battle. We lost that one. I told you guys we're going to lose against that. Uh, Registeel. The lock-on is just so noisy. 
All right, so you guys can see Noivan in too good. I mean, if I had Talon Flame, I definitely would say I would have won the second one against the Registeel because Talon Flame can handle Registeel with ease. I mean, other than if it's up against the Zap Cannon, that will one-shot KO us. All right, so now we got nine kills in the house. A pretty okay start for us. We do not want our uh, Noivan to face up against that because uh, that is a very, very big wall against uh, our... Okay, 10. Sorry, I wasn't counting, but yeah, okay. It's either uh, 4, 7 or 10 much shots, then you actually fire off your Hydro Cannon. So, okay, not to worry. Let's go with that. Okay, okay, I'm thinking, guys, I'm thinking this should be Weather Ball. I'm going to let this go through first. It's totally fine. Shadow Nine Tails is really, really pain now, though. I mean, it is so crazy that a lot of people are talking about it. All right, we got Giratina in the house. Now, what do we do? 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 We go with an Earthquake first. And then let's see if he's gonna shoot this. Gonna shoot that. We're gonna bring in our Trevenant. Trevenant, now you have one shoot extra against the Giratina, means you have an advantage over it. So you have to do your thing and try and knock it out, alright? Noivan cannot handle it, bro. Alright, so we need your help. Noivan cannot handle it. So, uh, I mean, Dragon Claw is gonna do super effective damage to us, so having Noivan against it isn't gonna be a good idea. Oh my god, wow. Okay, sure. Um, I will let this go through first. Charge up a bit more energy there and fire off the next Shadow Ball. Prepare for the next Pokemon that comes in. Okay, okay, we can survive that. Okay, we're gonna go with Shadow Ball first. Um, could have actually done one more Shadow Claw actually, but it's okay. Let's see if this is uh, gonna knock out the Giratina or not. Please knock it out. Great. Just nice that it got knocked out by the Shadow Ball. Just nice. Alright, now bring in the Nine Tails. Okay, we're gonna go with that now. Okay, this will be enough to knock out the Nine Tails. The Nine Tails Weather Ball is almost ready. I did not count properly the charm, so we just go ahead with the Seed Bomb first. Almost knocking it out, almost knocking it out, almost knocking it out. Oh my god, okay, we simultaneous knocked out. Now, let's see what the last Pokemon. It is Swampert! Ho ho! Okay, let's try something interesting. Alright, 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 alright. Mm hmm. Up. I was gonna try and catch the um, charge move, but didn't need to. I mean, we had one shield left, but I was gonna try and catch it. But it looks like she has Hydro Cannon and Earthquake. There's nothing that she can do against Noivern. So you guys can see that Noivern. Um, it's a very very huge wall against Swampert, so that is a good thing, I guess, in that situation for me. But against Registeel, good luck, you're gonna lose. Yeah, so I mean, if you have something like a Talent Flame or in fact, what was the previous com Pokemon? Uh, Starly, Star Raptor. If you have Star Raptor, so that 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 can still potentially handle um, Registeel. But Registeel, you know, is a Pokemon that I really really. Um, love seeing when I use my Talon Flame together with these two other Pokemon that I usually use. Alright. Okay, okay, switching into Crocella. We're gonna switch into our Trevenant straight away. And then uh, let's see what she's gonna do. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, yep, yep. Could have tried and catch the uh, Grass Knot though, but um, let's not do that. Okay, let's not do that. Okay, let's see now. Future Side. Ouch, that's very painful. It's gonna do half health damage. Now, we're going to try and see if uh, our opponent is... Oh, you know what? I don't think my opponent is going to shoot this. I have a feeling he is not going to shoot this. Alright, let's uh, go with that. So, you see, playing Go Battle is not just about skill. It's also about luck. It's about how to read your opponent. Sometimes you lose because you just made a slight mistake. Or, in fact, predict your opponent's move wrongly. Like what happened for the first battle. That was literally a 50-50% chance for me to actually win. Do okay, we should be able to take it down before another charge move comes in because he does not have grass knot. Grass knot would have been enough to knock us out anyways. Alright, so now let's see what is the what is the next Pokemon? It is Articuno. Alright, we're gonna go with Shadow Ball because um, Seed Bomb will be resisted. Now my camera lens is clearing up already. That's good. <laughs> Alright, so Shadow Ball and then uh, we're gonna go with another Ah I thought I could survive that crap. Ah Okay, never mind, not to worry. So we're going to have to use our Swampert to knock out the Articuno because our other Pokemon, Noivern, is not going to be good against it as it double, it's double weak to Ice. Alright, we need Swampert to handle this Ice Bird. Come on, Swampert, do your thing. I wish I have Shadow Swampert now though, <clears throat> so that the Hydro Cannons will actually do more damage. And uh, two Hydro Cannons will be enough to knock out the Articuno, but unfortunately not. Okay, um, I'm going to have to shoot this. Even if it's Icy Wind, yep, I'm going to shoot this. Okay, it is Icy Wind. Gr uh, not great. Okay. Three, four. Okay, great. Let's go. So, <clears throat> it's a bit worrying. I'm just scared that I might get hit by another Icy Wind. And I'm going to Icy lose this. Alright. Straight away. 
Nope, no, no, no. Now, what do we have here? Mm, I'm thinking, guys. I'm thinking. Okay. 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 Bring in Swampert. Okay, great. I have my energy ready against the uh, Articuno for my Swampert. Although I could have just swapped in one uh, much shot earlier, but it doesn't really matter. Now, we just hope that he doesn't have Sludge Wave. Great. Not even. Do what you need to do, man. Do what you need to do. Yep, 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 okay. So, Draco Meteor will probably one-shot KO it, right? Let's see that. I want to see the boom. Um, yeah, we can technically just survive the Hydro Cannons. It requires four Hydro Cannons to knock us out. Okay, looking at the situation. Uh, yeah, I don't think Psychic will be enough to knock it out anyway. So, we have to get to the Draco Meteor. It's still very worrying, though. Know? It's still very, very tight. Because if he actually gets to his Hydro Cannon, we will lose this. Okay, okay, ho oh, oh. that was really close. I mean, well, I, I knew we were going to get it because uh, he actually um, charged a bit of energy against my Swampert. Alright, so I believe two uh, fast moves will knock us out. Okay, and then uh, go ahead to uh, Hydro Cannon, the Articuno, now, and we are good. Wow, okay, that was a good one. I mean, uh, I would say that in a situation like this, if I actually did have Talon Flame, maybe I would have lost. Because his Swampert would have handled the Talon Flame very, very easily. Um, but of course, uh, if he swapped in that, I would just stay in with the Swampert and try to handle his Swampert with my Swampert. And then after that, bring in my own Talon Flame to handle the Articuno instead. That may work also. Alright, so we managed to win that. Very good. That was a real win. Technically, we, was, we won the previous one, so we won two already. So we're going to try and win another one, hopefully. But seriously guys i wouldn't recommend using not even at all you guys can see how glassy it is how weak it is towards ice also i mean if it has better movesets i would recommend using it now we have a very good lead against a stun fisk that is a very good start for us bringing in giratina i'm gonna bring in our trevenant although he has two shoes on his hand so that's kind of worrying for us okay i'm gonna let this go through um i think i made a big mistake i shouldn't have done this yeah i should have just stayed in with the um swampert right I don't know man, I kind of made a big mistake already, I feel. Okay, 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 let's go with the Shadow Ball. Straight away. And uh, let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm, I, I think I really big, made a big mistake man. Big, big, big mistake. Yeah, a very big mistake. Okay, can we actually get to another Shadow Ball in time though? I do not know, I can't really tell. Okay, because I'm not focusing on the depletion of the health of my Trevenant. So I need to focus. Okay, okay. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. Does not look like it. That was very bad. That was really bad. Okay, we're gonna lose this. 99% chance we're gonna lose this. If we still win this, I'll be so surprised. Okay, now I mean he has a stun face, which then could do super effective damage to my um, Noi Noivern. Okay, we're gonna go with Earthquake. We have to knock it out. We have to knock it out. But if he shields this, if, he, if, if, if I'm him, I would shield. Knowing that I brought in Stompert again. Alright, oh, he did not shoot this man. Okay, great. So now, what's the next Pokemon? Okay, great, great, we are dead. Okay, yep, we are dead. We are totally dead, guys. We are totally dead. We're gonna lose this. We are definitely gonna lose this. We are 100% gonna lose this. We are seriously gonna lose this. Okay, but we're gonna try and Draco Meteor the um, um, Pokemon regardless. I mean, even if I do have Hurricane, it doesn't really matter because Hurricane will still be resisted by the Galarian Stun Fist. Typing, so um, let's just see this. Draco Meteor. I mean, Draco Meteor probably hits harder than Hurricane, right? I would think so. I'm 99% confident that it does, but still, it's not going to do a lot of damage to our Skrillarian Stun Fist over here. And it's a Hundo, by the way, 2445 CP. It's a level 50 or so. Alright, so it's charging up energy. Seriously, guys, at this stage, I'll just stop left because I know I'm going to lose already. I mean, he has a Traveler at the back. Just sit bomb me one time, I'm going to lose anyways. So, yeah. Um, okay, a quick me. You know, just a quick me. Yep, um, that's quite sad to see, tragic uh, ending, but um, that's how it is when you use Noivern. So, never use Noivern. Noi never, never use, alright? Never ever use Noivern. So, yeah, you guys can see that uh, having a rank 1 Noivern for the Ultra League doesn't, doesn't mean that having rank 1 Pokemon it is that good. But, uh, okay, okay, fine. Uh, my back is full, I'm now the big fool, and I have to clear my back. Um, yep, okay. So sorry, I kind of just woke up. I'm doing things a bit slow right now, but we went down in terms of our ELO. That's kind of sad. All right, so I think that is all that I have to show you, to you guys in terms of how uh, Noivern performs in the Ultra League. It is rank 1, but it doesn't mean that it is the best. All right, hopefully you guys will 
not put your resources into this because I wouldn't recommend using this at all for the Ultralic. There are so many other better options, including Altaria if you can afford to power it up to level 50, including the candies and also the Stardust to actually do that. It's going to be stronger than Ignore even because of the movesets. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, guys. Did Definitely remember to leave a like on the video. Be much appreciated. Thank you very much. And I'll see you guys in the next episode in the next video. All right, now it's time to say goodbye. 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 All right, so goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.